When Hanu Huchtamo plays with light, the results are magically glowing flowers of the night. Blinking lamps turn into radiant creatures from another world. Hanu calls this art light painting. They are photos taken with a long exposure. He learned the technique about 10 years ago from a friend. And that was really like a magical moment. And uh, like maybe a week or two after that, I just decided I have to, you know, try it by myself. I just bought my first DSLR camera and then just start making, you know, my own experiments like almost every night. And like weeks passed and maybe months passed and I, I was like really hooked on that. Every light painting begins with a sketch on paper. What Hanu likes to design best are organic forms that look like flowers or plants. Later, he transposes the lines and points into sequences of motion. People just ask that how, how, you, how you just do it, and I, I'm just trying to explain it, that it's pretty simple stuff, but, but you just have to focus on the moment, you have to practice all the movements like beforehand you are doing it. It's like a choreography that you are doing. In his studio in Helsinki, Hanu prepares his next photo shoot. To create pictures like this, he needs to use long exposures, depending on the background, between three and 10 minutes. He has to rehearse very precisely in his studio the sequence of movements that will go into the outdoor shot. Hanu imitates the lines in his sketch using light. Everything that I do, it's like really happening on the picture. It's not made with the Photoshop or some kind of 3D modeling software. It's just like the real thing. And that is something that uh, is quite rare these days because like almost like every picture that you see on the internet, it's, it, you know, it's, it has some post-processing. The 37-year-old artist uses many different sources of light for his pictures. Flashlights, light strings, and light bulbs, and some new kinds of lamps that he builds himself. This is like uh, one of my oldest light painting tools. And really simple, <laughs> but it just works, works really nicely. Just uh, this kind of a Christmas battery operated Christmas light and then I can uh, draw lines with it, maybe do some writings of course. And it's uh, this little paint roller that I add, that's this uh, LED lights. To make his light painting, Hanu needs almost absolute darkness. Best are dark forests or abandoned buildings. Today, he has sought out the cellar vault of an old fortress. He says light painting is like meditation. He could lose himself in it. The reward comes in viewing the result as soon as he's done. came out quite nicely actually. It just was some kind of a light leak, like from that window or that hole on the wall. But actually, it doesn't affect on the picture, so I'm quite happy for it. Hanu Huchtamo never gets the winter blues. No wonder, because the year's darkest days offer the best conditions for his art.